Is your song burning me me? We're here on the second day of rehearsals for semi-final two in Melody Festival in 2018, and we're joined by returning artist Mimi Werner. Oh, hello. Hello, Mimi. <laughs> A lot of our readers will remember you from 2016 because yeah. you were one of the fan favorites. Ah, you might not realize it, yeah. but outside in the international bubble, when you came fifth, I was quite upset personally as well. We had Jess We Mimi was on Twitter, hashtag Jess We Mimi. Yeah. I kind of developed a disliking for Alban and Matthias oh. because your song didn't get you. But anyway, that's <laughs> enough of that. That's so cute. How Thank did you feel after your 2015 result? Did it kind of spur you on that I have to do Melody Festival and again? No, actually not. I was uh, very pleased and very happy with my performance mm-hmm. uh, last time. I actually were, but uh, I was saying to myself after that, because it's such a big thing to be in this competition, mm-hmm. it's a lot of pressure and a lot of hard work, so I told myself that if I ever gonna write a new song uh, that I really, really love, I'm gonna send it to Malifa's one again. Mm-hmm. But so it's always has been about the song, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's not about the competition or uh, everything about this, the circus. It's just about the song, and that's mm. why I, I'm here today. Yeah, so basically mm. the song came first, and then you're like, Melody Festival and needs this. Yeah. Exactly. So you were saying that it's like a big circus, but do you feel, has it changed for you personally to be coming here kind of as a known artist? Like, you were kind of the surprise package when you were here in 2016. Is it there like is it easier? Is it harder um, now? Like, what are that people have different expectations of you? Mm, yeah, maybe a little bit. Uh, now people know me and they know what I do, so people uh, think different things about me, of course. And I think that's kind of good, actually. Mm. Um, but I really, it's a lot of pressure this time. But I kind of like it. Yeah. I suppose it kind of gives you the song burning in your belly, the fire in your belly to go and and get that. Yeah, exactly. And make it out. Yeah, and that's exactly what song burning is about. Mm. And so how did the creative process behind song burning, how did that happen? It's been, uh, we've been working on this song uh, in almost two years now. Mm -hmm. And we've been working very hard with it. Uh, And we have been five different uh, songwriters that have been working with the song. And I didn't want to finish it if I didn't feel uh, comfortable with it. So that's why the process has been so long. Mm -hmm. So last year, uh, I was thinking to send uh, this uh, sent song burning into the competition, but I didn't because it didn't feel felt right for uh, for for me. Okay. So we we waited a year, uh, and uh, here I am. Yes. Got in the competition. And we're happy to see you here. Thank you so much. Um, and then with song burning, you've spent all this time, but like working on it. But yeah. was it just song burning, or do you kind of have a whole back catalogue of songs ready now to unleash on the world? Yeah, actually, we've been uh, writing an album okay. uh, last year, and when I was in Nashville for, uh, two years ago, we mm-hmm. wrote uh, four more new songs, so I'm going to release them when Melody Festival is over, mm-hmm. uh, and then I'm going out on tour and play the songs, and I'm really happy and excited for that. Yeah, so that's something for everyone to look forward to. Of course. But how does it come about that a 20-something Swedish singer in country in the country genre how does that happen because you kind of think uh, straight away similar singers of your age it's kind Mm -hmm. of pop divas Mm -hmm. or pop music Mm -hmm. or rock and indie how did you kind of fall into country when i was a little girl i was very shy Mm -hmm. and didn't talk to anyone and i was a little bit bigger then Uh, and i never said so much so i always uh, wrote down my feelings mm-hmm. uh, in small poems so and country music is all about the lyrics yeah and about the poem and about the reason about the song you know what i mean so my poems i wrote when i was uh, a little girl 
it reminds me so much about country music. Mm -hmm. So I think the lyrics is why I listen to to country. Yeah. Okay. Because in pop music sometimes it's about love and you yeah. know, uh, it's not about the the lyrics so much. But in country, it, every song has a reason why it's mm -hmm. there, and I that's why. And I then love music. the thing with your music as well is that it kind of crosses genres because there are elements of pop in it. It's not mm -hmm. pure country. No, 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 exactly. And I think that's what makes it like so accessible to fans even outside of the Melody Festival and Bubble. And that's why you're remembered from your 2016 performance and why you're one of the favorites now. Mm -hmm. um, but then when we go on, so we've talked about your song, but your stage, your stage show is very impressive. Because there's a lot going on because you have all the exploding orange colors, you have the drummers, there's smoke on the floor, you march and you lead your army of drummers down the catwalk. Um, yeah, it's just very, um, it really grabs your attention and it kind of wakes you up after a few kind of quieter songs earlier on in the show. But how did the staging come about and like, did you have this vision in your head? I had actually when we wrote the song, uh, I wrote the uh, I wrote the lyrics with an orange orange pen. Okay. Because I really felt that this song is an orange song. You know what I mean? <laughs> it sounds crazy, but for me it's so natural. Yeah. So my stage uh, outfit it's gonna be orange. Mm -hmm. So everything is in the same uh, thought as mm -hmm. I had when we wrote it. So uh, everything is the same theme. Uh, with the fire and the sparkle, you mm. know? Like Th that was one thing that really caught people's attention because you have the pyro curtain coming down from the ceiling. Exactly. But what happens most of the time is the singer is standing in front of it uh -huh. and it's behind them, whereas uh -huh. you're there and the fire is coming down in front of you. In and th s some people were getting quite nervous and they're like, Mimi, don't burn your hair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I really love it and I think uh, I had this vision uh, so I asked SVT if mm -hmm. that was okay to have it and they were not like no it's not possible I'm so sorry and I was begging for myself please make it work make it work and then they fixed it so I'm so happy so basically what you're saying if any artists have these great ideas next year and SVT are saying no they would give you a call and you'd be able to convince exactly them. I can fix that for you <laughs> but then it's away from music what we sometimes do before we interview artists is we kind of take a peek at their Instagram page mm -hmm. and a lot of artists we see oh they have a cat or they have a dog on your page we met someone called Marilyn mm, yes that's my little parrot <laughs> but she's not so small she's actually <laughs> two kilos big and like this high and with her tail she's like this <laughs> but she's so cute right yeah and does Marilyn can Marilyn sing any of your songs or does she have any party tricks? Mm, no, she cannot sing. She can whistle. Okay. Very good. And and always when we go to sleep, she say, good night, Mimi. <laughs> good night. And uh, when we kiss at home, me and my boyfriend, uh, she say, puss, puss. And that mm -hmm. means kiss, kiss. Okay. And can I taste? <laughs> <laughs> so she's really, really cute. <laughs> It's a pity you can't bring her on stage then because there's no animals allowed at Eurovision. Oh, no. But then that might be a bit chaotic and it might frighten. But we can fix that as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mimi the fixer. <laughs> yeah. I think as well, maybe how you did Melody Festival back in 2016, you came very close to getting to the final because even in the second round of voting, you, you got higher than Abba and Matthias who were in fourth, but you just didn't have the enough votes from the first round to push you over. But has your career changed much since Melody Festival? Yeah, Melody Festival is a door opener, I mm -hmm. think. Um, and I've been out on tour since then, and I've been recording a new album, and it's been uh, very good in a personal way, mm -hmm. and also in my career. So I really, I'm really happy that I did it. Mm. So this time I'm much more calmer uh, because I did it once. And how important is the grand prize of the Eurovision ticket to you? Because a lot of people do Melody Festival and they're like, I don't care about Eurovision, I'm just here for the promotion. And then other people are like, Eurovision, mm. let me at it. Mm. The promotion part sounds kind of boring to me. Mm. I'm here to play my song yes. that I wrote in two years so i'm here to show my myself and my song mm -hmm. for the audience and then 
the competition thing is another. Mm. It's hard to competition mm. uh, to to compete in in music. It's really hard because it's so much emotions yeah. and creative people. Uh, it's hard to set a uh, you know if you win or lose because the music is so individually. But I suppose one thing that would be nice about winning Melody Festival is then that you would get to sing your song for a hundred, two hundred million people. And that's always a perk for a singer. Mm -hmm. Um, And then finally, you kind of, you have this country style, but it's not just your sound, your music sound that's quite distinct, that your fashion, you always kind of have a unique jacket or we saw you at the after party or the pre-party last night. Yeah. And you had kind of a white jacket and you had different designs on it. And now you kind of have this pink with yeah, yeah, the fringes. fringes. And you had your, you had, we saw two different jackets yesterday. They were kind of similar. You had one that you were wearing with Mimi written on the back. Mm -hmm. And then I think the other one was the show jacket. They just had it on stage with song burning. Exactly. Mm. Well, how how do you come up with your style? I don't know. I just my mind is <laughs> everywhere sometimes, and I really love to do my own jackets because it gets so much more of me. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, and that Mimi Werner jacket, mm. I did it by myself. You know, I oh, was so you designed it. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was buying one of those cheap jeans jacket uh, and then I painted it with the uh, house paint uh, uh, color <laughs> yeah white <laughs> and uh, red and, and then I would just uh, writing uh, on the back mm. and then put uh, like diamonds on it and I really love it yeah and it looked really impressive on the staging as well but do you know a secret what I have made a candy jacket out of candy exactly so it's and a jeans jacket in pink and I um, yeah Limma. Hur hur säger man limma? Limma fast. Stack a yeah, glued um candies on it. Okay. On the whole jacket. <laughs> and it's really cool. And I have pants as well in candy. So then if you make it on to Andre Johnson or the grand final whichever happens on Saturday night, we know what what dress we expect to see you wearing during the press conference afterwards exactly and you can have a taste <laughs> if you want to yes. on the arm <laughs> it's probably very handy that during the press conferences if you get a bit nippy or feeling a bit faint mm, a sweet <laughs> wakes you up exactly it's so smart that's practical yeah um so i think we'll just wrap things up and before we let you go mm-hmm. i think our readers especially like there's a lot of non-swedish readers as well and swedish yeah but do you have a message that you would like to share with them I really hope that you're listening to the song tomorrow and I really really hope that you're gonna love the song as as much as I do and I hope the feeling that I have for the song will come through come through the television and uh, meet the heart of the listener that's the reason why I'm doing this so basically vote for her (laughs) yeah yeah and, and then stream her on Spotify when the song comes out. Yep, and, yep. and keep an eye out for that album. We'll all be paying attention. Exactly. And if you want more Wee Wee blogs, make sure to subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and give us a like. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you.